This clip will show you how to modify the numbering of changes existing in your revisions. With the introduction of the revision management feature, the book settings dialog received another new panel. If you activate the book settings dialog, you will see that the third panel is called the change numbering and revisions panel. In this panel, you'll be able to modify how the ID field of change entries appear on layouts, effectively overriding them based on a rule. The panel offers two radio buttons at its top. The Use Change ID radio button is the default option. And with this option, the Change ID displayed under Revisions in the Revision History panel of Layout Settings dialogs and in the Revision History object will come from the Change ID defined for the change in the Change Manager. When you select the Number by Revision radio button, the change ID displayed under Revisions will be made up of three parts. The first part of the change ID will come from the Revision ID. The text you define in the ID prefix field will become the second part of the change ID, while its third part will become a field with changing values. In the ID Style field, you can set the format of this third portion. It can be set to letters or numbers in several different formats. The preview field in the right part of the panel will give you the preview of the second and third part of the generated change ID. If you now click the OK button and activate the Layout Settings dialog, you'll see in the Revision History panel how the change ID of each change is modified based on the format you specified. You can also see that the change ID that appears in the Revision History object on Layouts also displays these new values. Please note that the original change IDs of changes were not modified in the Change Manager palette. So this setting only overrides and modifies how change IDs are displayed in the revision history of layouts. Please also note that change IDs are overridden on a per layout basis, so on each layout the numbering of change IDs starts anew. For example, one layout contains three changes ch-01, ch-02, and ch-03. In the Revision History object, their change IDs end with 01, 02, and 03 respectively, as these are the first three changes on the layout in this revision. If we remove change ch-01 from the layout, only the other two changes, CH-02 and CH-03, will remain on the layout, and their change IDs will end with 01 and 02 respectively. On another layout, the only change appearing in the layout is change CH-04. Since it's the first change in the layout, its change ID will end with 01. 